Hi guys, my name's Danielle Collins and I'm the world leading face yoga expert and best selling author of the book Danielle Collins Face Yoga. And seeing as April is Stress Awareness Month, I thought it'd be really nice to share with you some energizing face yoga that really helps with your skin. So it's going to help your skin to look glowing and firmer and more lifted, but also it's going to help to calm the mind. And it's really good if you'll find that you're suffering from stress at the moment, maybe your anxiety levels are higher, it's really going to help to just calm everything down. So as you do it, make sure you have really clean hands, clean face and apply a little bit of plant-based oil or serum first. Then when you're ready, we'll start with a really nice deep breath. So a long deep breath in through the nose, just allow the abdomen to rise and then a deep breath out through the nose and just allow the abdomen to lower. So breathing in, abdomen rises, breathing out, abdomen lowers. So this breath in itself really helps to calm the mind and it's a good thing to practice anytime you feel your stress levels building up. So continue this breathing and we'll start with our face yoga. So we're going to take our index fingers and just come between the eyebrows. Now this is excellent for helping to release and reduce stress and tension. We're stimulating an acupressure point which is renowned for helping reduce stress. This point is also beautiful for just helping you to sleep a little better. And from an aesthetic point of view, it really does help to relax the procerus muscle. So that's a big muscle that just fans up here between the eyebrows. And when we hold a lot of tension in that muscle, we tend to pull this area in, which creates those number 11 lines. So by regularly massaging this area, we help to reduce and prevent build up of those lines and it's also very very good just for helping to boost the circulation so we're helping all the fresh blood and nutrients and oxygen just come to the skin surface we're going to take all our fingers now and just sweep across the forehead and lift off so sweeping across and lifting off Again, it's very gentle, great for circulation, great for helping to promote the collagen and the elastin in the skin. And once again, it helps to really release any tension. And when we're releasing tension here, we really help to soften and prevent expression lines. So with this one in particular, helping to prevent those horizontal expression lines. The more we can try and train our face to express more with our eyes and less with our forehead, the less lines you'll find that you get in this area and the more open your eye area will be. So talking of the eye area, let's move on to this area all the way around the eyes that can tend to get a little bit puffy, maybe can be prone to dark circles, particularly if you are going through a lot of stress at the moment. So let's use our ring finger and just circle under the eyebrow and then under the eye. So it's really important you use very gentle feather-like touch here. It almost feels like you're hardly moving the skin at all. The skin around the eyes is about 10 times thinner than the skin in the rest of the face. So you need to be super, super gentle as you do this. Now this really helps with lymphatic drainage and the lymphatic system helps to get rid of any excess toxins in our system, but it really does need a helping hand. A massage is such a good way just to help with that lymphatic drainage to reduce puffiness and dark circles and eye bags. And whilst you come here, just press in that little indentation there. Again, it's a lovely acupressure point, which is renowned for helping to reduce stress and helping to calm the mind. And you can do a little circle one way and a little circle the other way. Okay, let's do a nice massage for the cheeks now. So helping to brighten the cheeks, but also release stress and tension in that area. So two fingers and thumb, we're just going to pinch all the way up the cheekbones and lifting off. So pinching up and really think about going down into the muscle. So rather than pulling the skin upwards, think about pinching downwards into the muscle. 
So you should start to feel that lovely warmth now. And if you're feeling that warmth, it's such a good indication that you're helping to boost the blood flow to the top layer of skin. So your skin's going to look healthier and brighter. So bring the hands down and we'll do another one for the cheeks, but this time we're working on a lot of the muscles underneath the skin. So we're working on strengthening and toning the muscles and this is going to help the skin attached to it become tightened and tautened and firmed. So you puff both cheeks out full of air and you're going to transfer the air from cheek to cheek, nice and slowly, and making sure you're still breathing in and out through the nose, nice and slowly. And if you find as you do this, you see any lines around this area, just use your hand to place over your mouth, and this just tightens and tautens any lines here. So let's do this together now. So just a little bit longer, just keep doing that whilst I'm talking and you should start to feel the muscles really engaging now, really working hard and that's a great sign that they're building in strength and tone. So bring your hands down when you're ready, two fingers now, we're just going to tap from the jawline up to the nostrils. Very good massage for helping to soften marionette lines, nasal labial folds. So just gently working all the way up. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Then take two fingers and thumb and just pinch all the way up your jawline. This is very good for releasing tension in the jaw. When we're stressed, it tends to manifest in our jaw massively. So doing this massage really helps. Okay, let's do that one more time and bring the hands down. And now let's do one which is very good for strengthening the big platysma muscle at the front of the neck. It's also very good for tightening and tautening under the chin. So again, we're working with strengthening and toning those muscles and then the skin attached to them is tightened and firmed. So you're going to bring your lips together, tilt your head back, but only as far as is comfortable for your neck. Remember with all face yoga, you need to be working to your own level. If anything ever feels uncomfortable, please Please stop and rest. And then with your lips closed, you're going to bring the tip of the tongue repeatedly up towards the roof of the mouth. So let's do this together. Tilting back, lips together, tip of the tongue's going like this now. Keep that going for a little bit longer whilst I'm talking to you. Keep it going up and down. Really feel it working in this area underneath the chin. Very good to help to tighten this area. And you're probably feeling that now too. So when you're ready, slowly come back down and let's just turn our head to one side, tilt the head back slightly, lift the chin up into the air, get that lovely stretch, but also strengthening through the side of the neck and up the side of the face, really lifting for the side of the face. Come to the other side, tilting, slightly bring the chin up. Try and relax all the rest of your face muscles here. And then slowly come back round. And just rub the hands together, really build up the warmth and the energy in the hands. And then just cup the hands over the face. Feel all the face muscles. Just bathe in the warmth of your hands. Feel any tension you may be holding in your face just melting away now. And bring the hands gently down. So that little routine just gives you a taster of face yoga. And I recommend that you do face yoga every day for best results. So there's lots of ways you can do this. You can use my apps by searching Danielle Collins on your app store. You can head to faceyogaexpert.com for my online courses and DVDs. You can head to Amazon for my book, Danielle Collins Face Yoga. And in order to see results, as well as doing it daily, you really do need to be looking after your overall lifestyle and looking after your overall health. So things like drinking lots of water, 
eating lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, including enough protein in your diet because we're looking to strengthen and tone the muscle and the collagen and the elastin in the skin too. And just trying to reduce things like excess sugar and caffeine and alcohol and remembering to wear an SPF on the skin every single day. All of these things will help you to get better results from face yoga. And just to give you a little brief overview before we finish about the Danielle Collins face yoga method and the five aspects to it. So we've covered most of these already today, but I'll just quickly tell you about them now. So the first area is the face exercise. So this is about strengthening and toning the muscles underneath the skin. So just like we exercise the body, the 57 muscles in this area need to be exercised too. The second aspect of the Danielle Collins face yoga method is the face massage. So this is about boosting the circulation, helping to improve the collagen elastin. It's also about relaxation as well. The third aspect is acupressure. This is very much rooted in traditional Eastern medicine, so in Ayurveda, in traditional Chinese medicine, in Shiatsu, and it's about applying pressure to certain points in the face. And this has so many benefits from an aesthetic point of view in terms of boosting the circulation, releasing tension, softening lines, but also has loads of wellness benefits too. So there's lots of nice acupressure points on the face you can use to reduce you stress, to help headaches, help sinuses and so on. The fourth aspect is relaxation. A big reason why we get lines and wrinkles in the face is we tend to over express with the face. So we tend to raise the eyebrows a lot, pull this area in, tense the jaw, all of these things. So by learning to consciously relax the face, it makes a huge difference. And our fifth area is the well-being. So the well-being aspect is very much about feeling good on the inside. So when we feel good on the inside, this really radiates out through our skin. So they're the five aspects of face yoga. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information, you can follow me at Face Yoga Expert on Instagram, on Facebook, The Face Yoga Expert, or you can go to my website, faceyogaexpert.com. Take care of yourself. Remember to breathe deeply, lots of love, bye-bye.